The most comprehensive study on bunk beds to date finds that kids are most at risk for injury, especially those under the age of six. And the rate at which they wind up here with serious injuries surprised even the experts. About 36,000 children are injured each year and treated in hospital emergency departments in this country for injuries associated with bunk beds. That's an average of 100 kids a day, every day, who wind up here with broken bones, cuts, or bruises. It happened to Beth Slinger's son. Years ago, a bunk bed used to stand in this corner of his bedroom, but after jumping on the top bunk and cutting his head on this ceiling fan, that all changed. At the time, I was so upset that we could have let this happen that we took the bed down and got rid of it the very next day. <laughs> but just because Beth's son Reed is older now doesn't necessarily mean he's in the clear. Lara McKenzie of Nationwide Children's Hospital conducted the study and says that while most injuries happen to younger children, they're not alone. What we found, which was really interesting was that there was actually a spike in injuries in the 18 to 21 year old age group. That's because of bunk beds in places like college dorms and military barracks. But no matter where they're used, experts say the same rules for safety apply. Keep beds away from ceiling fans, keep the area around them clear, and make sure there are guardrails. The gaps in the guardrails should be not more than three and a half inches, and the rails should be about five inches or more above the mattress. And experts say it's never a good idea to let any child under six sleep on the top bunk, given how sudden and severe the injuries have proven to be. At Nationwide Children's Hospital, this is Clark Powell reporting.